scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott, and uh, today we are doing more in my series, Scrapbooking Your Great Great Grandparents. So today we're going to be um, making this layout for Charlotte. <laughs> um, she's got some, some velvety letters there in red because uh, she is the grandmother of my Nana Ruby. And so I thought I'd use red letters for everyone in this part of the family tree. Um, yeah, I also go through, I think in this video I go a lot through um, a lot, <laughs> just like, like trying to control the chaos is if you've got like way too much information. So, and also no pictures. So I had a lot of information and no pictures. So I found a picture of the church she went to and a a picture of the Women's Missionary Society, which I know she was a member of. I think this is her, but I'm not for sure. The other thing that I did to hope to get a picture of Charlotte is put a call out on Facebook in a group called uh, Harvey Historical Harvey Photos or something like that because she and the other three grandparents that are this part of my family tree all settled in Harvey, New Brunswick. And so they, 22 families came over from England and it's super documented and there's websites and all sorts of um, printouts that I'm going to be including in the book, um, in, my, in my album that will be in eight and a half by 11 page protectors. But this is the layout we're gonna be working on right now. Let's get started. Hey scrapbookers, so I'm almost getting ready to um, start scrapbooking the next couple, John and Charlotte. Um, she's actually called Belle, but and I and I've I've started writing about her. But before I move to her, I just wanted to go back to the idea of the second great grandparents. So your second great grandparents are your grandparents' grandparents. So this is my grand, this is a fan chart, and I think this was from Crepe Paper, their close-knit collection, which was awesome, by the way. Um, but this is, so I've, I've done this fan chart, um, I think it's called a fan chart. <laughs> it might be called something else, maybe a fan circle chart or something like that. Um, but this is my grandfather, and then these are his two parents. And then this is Howard Dudley and Annie Fleming Fenderson. So these are these two people here that we did. And then, um, and if you haven't been, uh, this is the, I think the fifth in the series of scrapbooking your great grandparents. And then we go to um, this side, which is Anna Elizabeth, actually her middle name is Rebecca, whoops. Anna Rebecca McElroy's um, did I do this in pencil? I think I did so I can correct it. Um, her parents, and I do recommend that you probably do this one in pencil. Um, so her parents are the McElroys, Robert, and at this, the time that I filled this out, I didn't have this information. Robert McElroy and Anna Linton McElroy. So I'm going to go ahead and finish, um, filling this part of the chart out. But I just wanted to show you one thing on this is that even though I didn't know this whole side, I did know the grandfather is going to be McElroy, then McElroy, McElroy. So like the names follow up through the man, through the man's, um, the paternal lines. So anyways, it's going to be these four that I am focusing on this, my grandparents, the grandparents of my grandparents. So I think that this will start out this section. And after I've done the four of them, then the next four are going to be my Nana, my nanny, not my big nanny, my little nanny. <laughs> For real, we really call them that. Um, so my little Nana was called, and she was my grandmother. Her name was Ruby Grieve Fenderson. And so I think I might take her fan chart and then put it at the section opener of um, her section. So it'll all be from her line and there'll be four. She'll have four great grandparents too. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. So I finished, um, filling out, um, my grandfather's mother's side of the family tree. 
And I'm just going to put that in as the section opener. And then, so then we've got the four. Howard, Annie, Robert, and Anna. Howard, Annie. Then I've got some Fenderson genealogy that just, someone wrote a whole history of how the Fenderson name came to be. And some censuses and things like that. Um, then this was Willard is um, a great uncle of mine, my grandfather's brother. And I think while I'm at it, um, I'm just going to add two more sh two more scrapbook pages that I've already done that will go in line with the Spenderson lines. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So starting off with, and I think I'll have a different um, a different title page for the whole album, but I'm not there yet. But here's the fan chart for my grandfather Frank. And then we've got his four great-grandparents. So, Howard, Annie, <laughs> and then we're missing some. So, this is a layout that I made about my grandfather, Frank, um, his agency called the Fenderson Agency. So, that's going to be perfect right in here. And, you know, that family name was really important to him, um, and I've... Our law firm is, has the name Fenderson in it. And that was a big reason why. Is he really, um, he had a big, you know, that carrying on that family name was very important to him. But what I think is so interesting is, is just, it seemed like just that name was important. Like the Fleming family history wasn't important to him. Or, um, you know, the McElroys or the Lintons. He just kind of really just, you know, because his name was Fenderson, um, he, we have that researched all the way back to um, Scotland. And so I think, so for my grandfather, I think that Fenderson was from Scotland, but every, all the, the, his three other grandparents were all from Ireland. So he was more, he was more Irish than he was Scottish, but he identified as a Scotsman. So there you go. I think that happened with my, my husband's family too, is their last name is actually Scott. And, um, he really thinks of himself or thought of himself as being from Scotland. But when we researched his DNA, um, and I've gone back in the family tree, he's much more from Ireland than he is from Scotland. But I think a lot of those folks got mixed up over time. Okay, so anyways, here is, this is all from Frank, my grandfather Frank, who I call Grumpy. So now we're moving on to Nana. Oops, hold on, one more before we get there. Um, I thought I would throw this in. It's a more recent layout, or it's a, a it's not a recent layout. I probably made it back in January. 2009 but it's all the current family including my kids and so I like to add in something from now so that um, my children will care so there it's not just this isn't just a book about you know old Annie Linton from <laughs> when was she from from 1856. No, it connects to now. So bring it, you know, bringing your old family photos and mixing them in with your current family photos and showing those connections. So here we see the Fendersons and I can go back further, but I just went back to my second great grandparents. So that kind of shows the progression. It doesn't show the whole progression, but shows the progression of, oh, look, these are the people that are Fendersons now. Okay. And so we'll end there. And now we're going to start with Ruby. So we'll start with her fan chart. And her grandparents are John, John Grieve, Charlotte Coburn, John Whiteman. I 
think that's how you say it, an Annie Messer. And so I've got one more Annie and two more Johns. And what I've started to notice is there is a lot of Johns in this um, side of the family. So before I get started on any of their pages, I did dig some pages out of my Nana. So this is my Nana Ruby. She was my grandmother, my father's mother, but we called her Nana. And these are just some pages that I made about her life. So they're going to go into this section here. So during World War II, she was a teacher. And then I have a layout about her china, which I have now. And another layout about her in that I just, when I was started to scrapbook my Nana, I found all these old pictures at my aunt's house and she looked happy and she really wasn't I didn't think of her as a particularly happy person um, when I knew her, so that was a revelation for me. I was real happy to see that. So she came from Harvey um, Station in New Brunswick, and the, the it's amazing because the um, that area has a bunch of historical um, websites where they really tell the whole history of how that land was settled. And it's almost like when we get into my mother's side, we go back all the way to the pilgrims on the Mayflower. And what's neat about that is that it's highly documented. Well, it's the same for my Nana's um, family is that they all went to this place, Harvey in New Brunswick in Canada, and it's been heavily documented. So we, I know the whole story, which is really cool. And it's fairly incestuous. <laughs> So we'll, um, uh, some of my grandparents are my grandparents two different ways, um, which is just very interesting. But uh, I don't think we'll get into that so much with this. Maybe we do. I have to look. I, it's been a while since I've done this family research. But anyways, I started and I started writing down things about Charlotte. So I did a bunch of printouts. And so I, I didn't print out the censuses because I don't subscribe to the international version of Ancestry. It's $200 a year. I know you can get it on sale, but it just seems like a lot of money to me. So at one point when they had, um, like occasionally they'll have like a free weekend, I got all these different Canadian censuses that I can still see the information for and they're still saved to my people in my on my Ancestry account, but I can't actually see the whole census. So I just wrote down the information that I had for each one of them. And I'll read you something in just a second. Okay, I'm back. And I've made the big mistake of making this huge title, Charlotte. And it I could put it on, but it's going to kind of go over the pink journaling part and cover up some of the words. So I went ahead and did it again, Charlotte. And I think what I would like to do for this section of the the of the great grandparents, since they're all four from Ruby, um, is to use red titles for the name. So there's gonna be kind of a a red bent to this part of the album. I also just grabbed some more um, pattern papers just to have on my desk. They're, I think they're mostly from Maggie Holmes and or Crate Paper. And I often, while I'm scrapbooking, I'm often like, oh, I need something that I can write on. So I pick some things like that, or I need something to um, mat a photo with. So none of these papers, I don't feel precious about any of these papers, so I'm good with cutting them up. I think they're from a paper pad, so they're all kind of um, thinner weight. So they're not necessarily great for the background paper. So, But they're just going to sit here on my desk with my pile of things so that I don't have to go looking anywhere for anything else, hopefully. <laughs> I said that, and then I got a comment like, you made a kit and then you had to go walking across the room to the other side to go find something. And 
That happens, yeah. So th I'm just putting this right on this bottom um, pile of stuff that's on my desk. Um, the letter stickers that I'm using, I've had forever. Um, well, probably since 2009. But they're from Lush, the My Mind's Eye Lush line. And I like them because they're bigger and I wouldn't necessarily use them for other things. And also because they do look, you know, old timey. So these ones are velvet. These are just chipboard. But they just have a, you know, an older look to them. So I'm going to try to make all of the names <laughs> out of these letters. And I was started to think I better do that now because I might run out. So I did some of the letter, some of the names from this side of the family. Um, I should probably do them for all of them, but I'm just going to keep going at this point. So I found this nice heavyweight background paper from, uh, this is Teresa Collins Family Stories. I'm just going to cut off the branding strip. And then I will, and this side was really cute. I'm glad I didn't see that before I started writing on this side. <laughs> Because otherwise that would have prevented, you know, I would have been like, oh, maybe I should use that side. Yeah, I do that. So I'm just going to tack this down to one side. And do we want it on that side? I don't know. This side or this side? Like it matters. It doesn't matter that much. I think I like it actually this side, which I wasn't planning on doing, but yeah, let's put it on that side. So I want to find some smaller letter stickers to write down her, um, the rest of her name because she has. A maiden, like all the women are going to have maiden names that I definitely want to include, but I also want to include their married names just so, you know, there's no confusion. There is some confusion <laughs> for me at least. It's like in family trees, I think it's so funny that, or even in ancestry, like you, the woman continues to have her maiden name in the family tree. And that, isn't that confusing? Because, like, if you're looking for an obituary of the woman, it's going to have, typically, her, you know, unless she was a spinster, because, you know, that happened too. Um, but it's going to have her married name. And so I just think it's, like, super confusing. I think there should be a way in the family trees where you include the woman's married name in her name. Like, I think there ought to be a place for that. I think there should be, like, in in Ancestry, it should be, like, first name, middle name, nickname, maiden name, um, married name, second married name, third married name, because you know that happens, too. So, yeah, let's put Charlotte here. And the way that I've been placing these is I just kind of roll down the wax paper, I'm new to this wax paper trick, but it's working out all right. I like it. So I, I get the top part down and then I just kind of hold my fingers over the letters and pull out the wax paper from the bottom. This drives my cat completely crazy because she thinks it's like super interesting. And I did go ahead and get the wax paper. So it's here in my scrap room so I don't have to, uh, you know, keep using it over and over again. So now I'm going to just spell out the rest of her name. And I should have started with the husband, but I just didn't. So her name is Charlotte Isabella Bell Coburn. And I think what I want to do with the bell is write that somewhere in maybe that new Amy Tan script font. It's called, let's see if I can find it. It's, um, oh, where did it go? Here it is. This is what I'm thinking. I got a bunch of this. 
So let's just see if we can spell bell out up here. I should have used the wax paper for this, but I'm not going to. I, I probably don't like this. But I like the idea of having her name Belle because that was, is what she, it seems like everybody from this side of the family has nicknames. Like even the men. Like her husband is John but his, his nickname is Jack. So let's write, yeah, his name is John Henry but they call him Jack. And her name is Charlotte Isabella but they call her Bell. So let's do the nicknames of both of them. And you know what else I'm thinking of while I'm doing this? I'm going to put this like in quotes so you know it's her, her nickname. Um, while I'm doing this, I'm thinking, um, well, there's not enough little quote thingies. <laughs> That's so weird. What are we going to do? Um, there's these quote thingies. I don't know. I don't know what these are supposed to be. There's like little oddly shaped. So here's Belle. I'm not exactly sure where that's going to go on the layout. I should have figured that out beforehand, but I didn't. And then with him, let's just do his now since I'm thinking of it. He's going to be Jack. I got these um, at Tuesday morning, and I feel like they're really new. I'm just looking at the date. Oh, they're not. 2013, so they're a little bit new. <laughs> they're newer than a lot of my stuff. Oops, I heard a, just heard my son. So it's time for homeschool to begin. All right, there's Jack. And here's these little oddly shaped, I don't know what these are supposed to be, but this is how I'm gonna designate the um, nicknames. So I will keep those out. And while I'm thinking of it, what I think I want to do is um, see if I have another piece of paper like this. It's, this is the back side of it. But I like this um, little line there where I can put the name. So I'm going to go ahead and look for that and start some homeschool. And then we'll be back. I'll be back. But just to keep all this going, I'm just going to cut out John because he's going to, he's the husband of Charlotte. And then. Yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so I um, <laughs> I switched this back because I started thinking about what it would look like with the companion page and I wanted to find a page that was exactly like this, but I only had one. So I found this page, which I don't know. I, I'm like on the fence about it, but I also think that if you are inclined, you know, if you're like, maybe this will work, that's a time when you can just say, okay, let's just go with that. Um, that way you don't, or I don't keep looking. And so I was thinking I would bring John's page in like this. And then I wanted to have a little bit of something from this over here. And I found, <laughs> this is the, um, like the, the package, you know. But I think I, I can get, a, yeah, just a little bit of that to just tuck under. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to tuck this under here just so it brings in a teensy bit of the color from his page. It's, I know, it's teensy. <laughs> It'll look better. You'll be able to see it more, I think, in the photograph than you can um, in on the video. So that's going to go about like that. And then 
John's name is going to go in this little box. I haven't decided where the John and the Jack are, are where the Bell and the Jack are going to go. But John's name is going to go here in this little box that's already on the the page. So I like that idea. And then what I'm going to do while I'm waiting for my son to do, we do, <laughs> we do homeschool. And I, just to explain how we do homeschool, it's like I am right there the whole entire time. So um, I'm going to, but a lot of the time he's working on math and then I'm correcting it. But we do it like problem by problem a lot of times. So it's very hands on. But <laughs> so I'm usually just there and just like. Just waiting. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to put take these little tiny letters and um, put them. I might I might take the white ones. I have some white ones around here somewhere. Um, but take these little letters. I'm just going to take this this sheet because this has um, this is a printout from Ancestry. This has their names spelled out, and then I'm going to write their middle and last names underneath their names. So I'll be back. Hey scrapbookers, so back, did the homeschooling thing, and um, while we, I was doing it, I started to put together some more of those names, uh, not all of them, but some of them, and okay, <laughs> I've got to print some pictures, I don't have them printed yet. But I did put together, so I'm totally out of ends with these. I'm pretty sad about that. Yep, out of ends. I need more ends, and I don't have them. Anyways, I have John Henry Grieve from 1856 to 1918 in Harvey, Canada. And really, Harvey is going to play a big role in these four um great great grandparents because they all settled there now um john and charlotte um i think were born in harvey but the other set uh, hold on annie and What's his face? Ale John Alexander Whiteman. Um, they were in English immigrants to Harvey. So this John and Charlotte were born here, but John and Annie were, um, they immigrated. And so I really think what I need to do is probably do a page on, um, on that ship and the immigration, even, yeah. So <laughs> that's, I think where I'll go next, but let me go ahead and print some pages. So I have another thing of Charlotte and I'm not sure whether to put those letters back or not, but I'm just letting them hang out for right now. Um, yeah, I'm getting myself all confused. <laughs> but that's part of, I think, why it's good to do these scrapbook pages or even just write down your family history because in the writing it down, you it's like taking notes in school. You know, you start to internalize it. So it really does start to sink in a little bit more. Um, but let me go ahead and see if I can find some photos. I don't think I have photos of these particular ancestors. So I think it's going to be a lot of place photos that I'm going to use. Yeah, I'll be back. Hey, scrapbookers, I'm back. And... I'm just thoroughly confusing myself with all of these um, relatives who came from the same place. And so I've been looking online and there's some um, things that I found uh, about how this Harvey settlement was settled. And so I printed those off and really it's, it's part of this generation, but really the, the generation behind that goes through and tells, and there's so much online. I know that I've printed out some of it, um, but this tells 
all about how, um, you know, they went from England to over to, um, to New Brunswick. And it looked like there were 22 families who came over on the Cornelius de Sunderland. And I couldn't find a picture of the ship, but I did find some pictures. And so none of them are of these grandparents, but they all are of um, Harvey Settlement. Although I think Charlotte is in this picture here. So we will include this picture on this page. But otherwise, like it kind of doesn't matter which pictures go on which page. Except that I think I'll, because the men were farmers, <laughs> so I think I'll put the farmer pictures on this page, and then, um, since both of, both John and Charlotte were born here in Harvey, in, in Canada, I will save the immigrants and the Harvey settlement, um, for the other two grandparents who were actually immigrants, and... I keep reading the word emigrant, like with an E. So I need to look up the definition <laughs> between those two, um, those two words. But, but the reason I'm going to include the church and the ladies was that she was a member of um, the Women's Missionary Society of the United Church. And so I'm going to include these two pictures on Charlotte's page. So let's do that. I already know that um, there needs to be a million more pages about this side of the family. The other thing I did, which I don't remember if I mentioned or not, <laughs> I'm, I'm just feeling like increasingly scatterbrained with all, but there's a wealth of information online, but um, it's just, it's like so much stuff to go through. Anyways, I've, I've been going through all that stuff online, so that's been taking up a lot of my time. Um, but, uh, but I haven't been able to find any, any pictures of these four great grandparents. So I put a, there's a, a closed group on Facebook called, I think old photos from Harvey or something like that. One of a scrapbooker that I know, um, Nicole or Canada call can't remember her last name, but she lives there and she is a member of that um, group and I we're probably related somehow. But here's, um, so here's a picture of Charlotte's church and then a picture of Charlotte. She's somewhere in there. I think she's one of these ones on the front row if I remember correctly, but I don't, um, I don't know for sure. Also, I don't know where I can get Belle on here. Maybe just right up here. Because <laughs> she was... I really do want to include that she, her name was Belle. Because, um... Because we named a dog Belle. And actually, the other grandmother on this side is also called... Her, her, her first name, I think, is Isabel. I don't know. I'm getting super confused. <laughs> but, uh, so one idea would be to put it up there and then put the pictures here and kind of maybe describe a little bit what those pictures are all about. Hmm. Well, I think let's do that just so I don't sit and wonder for too long. So let's bring in, um, some of this blue color behind. So we want to, these two pages are going to go together. So let's bring in a little bit of the blue. I think this will work. So. There's a lot of embellishments here. All right, here's some blue. little bit of color. Let me get these two matted. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've just matted those and stuck them down and 
I'm going to suck them down. And I envision some, just a little bit of something, uh, embellishments coming out maybe of this area here. And then, um, I'm seriously <laughs> like on the fence about whether to include this or not, but I really want to just because my dad named our dog when I was living with him, um, his, the dog Belle, and I think it was after her or the other grandmother. So it would have been his two great grandmothers from his mother. And so I know I, I have some pictures from this side of the family, but I'm not sure I have any that are this old. And if they are, I kind of feel like they're not labeled. So, like I have some really old, you know, tin types and really super old photos. So I just don't know. I have to. I have to look, but the, 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 the upswing is, if I ever find them, then I know where they're going to go in the album. So this is giving some structure <laughs> to my um, family heritage scrapbooking. So, and it, it's not like, I don't, I'm not a person who generally likes to do things in an organized kind of a way. So this is a good practice for me. Now, my next dilemma is all of this that I printed out about Charlotte, some of it I actually had the wrong information about her date of birth, and I corrected it because because of looking at the censuses. So that was a good thing. Um, and then I'm thinking, should I put her parents down? And this I can just really, if I wanted to, I could just cut and like paste right on there. I kind of like that idea. Just because for easy, for easiness sake, I think that might be a great way to go. I have to go to a cocktail party tonight. So I have to go like do my hair and make myself look pretty. That is one thing about homeschooling that I will say that um, it's <laughs> it's real easy to like just stay in yoga pants for your whole life. That is. Okay, so if I do this, then I'm not really going to be able to get those embellishments down there like I wanted to. But I think that it might be better to include, these are her parents, um, it might be better to include this information than embellishments. Yeah, so I have to figure out what I'm going to wear and get my hair done, you know, not get it done, but do my hair, <laughs> all that, all that good jazz. So those are her parents. And then this is her church. And I'm just wondering if I have anything that says anything about her church. And I don't think that I do. And then for, as for the rest of this stuff, I think you might, okay. Well, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Just on the back, and this is the back that is not going to be showing, but I am just going to tape these things to the back. So I almost just thought, let me toss them. But I think I'll just go ahead and quickly tape all this jazz to the back. So that it's just more information. So I'm just going to cut out all these different things, place them on the back. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I got all of that information onto the back. And these are just facts that are listed um, in Ancestry. And so they're based on, um, you know, the information that I've gathered. And then it just will, you know, say when daughters were born. Or this is the birth of son Frederick Andrew Grieve. Um, and that is my, that's my great-grandfather. So, yeah, I might want to just... <laughs> Even though this isn't even going to be part of the layout, um, let me just take a little, a little something something just to um, designate that. So I'm just gonna put a little, a little extra something right there, and that will. Just draw your eye to, it's subtle. It's gonna be behind the page anyways. Okay, do we want to do a little bit of decorating? Yes, we're scrapbooking, right? Please, let's do that, okay. So I'm thinking, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking I would love to put this here, but I don't think it really works. I think it's way too large. I do like it though. Let's try this little something instead. And I don't like that either, just because of the stuff that I've put there. So I've, by putting the parents there, I've kind of limited myself a little bit. Let's see what else I have hanging around. Or not hanging around but I keep this little folder of different things and sorry I'm not being very concise um, <laughs> but I just I would like to pick up some of this um, dark red color so I'm just looking through to see if I can find anything that's going to work. I'm not sure if I'm going to. I'm also thinking she was born here. Uh, I'm just trying to get something from her life. So She had four children. She was part of the Women's Missionary Society for the United Church. So maybe I'll just write that right over this in some small white letters. I like to do that. And then, okay, this is possible. I was thinking I could tuck that in there somehow because she was loved and treasured because it says so in her obituary. So let's pull her parents off of here because I think maybe maybe they can work. Maybe I'll just move them to the back. They're getting, yeah. So we're going to move them, their information to the back. So it's still there. But I think that I want this to be pretty on this side. So she was loved because it says so in um, the information I found on Find a Grape, which my cousin, Catherine, I think put there. So it mentions that she got flowers from the, from the um, Women's Society and that she was very loved. So I think that's perfect. <laughs> it's um you know it's not it's not a big something but it's a little something and I think that's that's going to be fine I am going to um no I don't know yeah I'm going to write on here with small tiny little white letters I'll do that off camera and then I'll show you the finished result hey scrapbooker so I think I'm done with this page um and what I did is I wanted to add something shiny so I went to my rub-ons and some of them worked better than others. So I had two sets of them and these worked great. 
Um, and I think they were both from the same manufacturer, just a different line. So I put two kind of banners coming out from over here. I put the little um, butterfly near her, and then I was going to put little butterflies near each one of her four children, but they weren't really working. So then I thought I'd put them up here, and they just went completely yucky. So <laughs> I put a sticker over the whole big mess and wrote, Born in Harvey Settlement. So that is the story of Charlotte. Thank you for watching. She's going to go um, She's gonna go next to John in the book. And I still need to do John's page. Um, and the, they'll be the first two for um, Ruby's section of my, my Ancestry book. Thanks for watching.